The bill is passed. Anggaran jangka pendek yang disetujui Kongres pada Sabtu ditandatangani oleh Presiden Joe Biden pada minggu waktu Washington DC dan mendanai operasional pemerintah federal hingga pertengahan November. Tapi Presiden Biden mendesak wakil rakyat lebih cepat mengesahkan anggaran dan tak lagi sepotong-sepotong. The brinkmanship has to end and there should be another there shouldn't be another crisis. There's no excuse for another crisis. Consequently, I strongly urge my Republican friends in Congress not to wait. Don't waste time as you did all summer. Pass a year-long budget agreement. Honor the deal we made a few months ago. Dengan demikian, AS menghindari government shutdown atau penutupan operasi badan pemerintah federal yang terakhir terjadi pada bergantian 2018 ke 2019. Dengan demikian, sekitar 2 juta pegawai sipil federal di seluruh AS bisa bernafas lega setidaknya selama 45 hari. Banyak di antara mereka juga mengalami shutdown sebelumnya yang akhirnya berlangsung 35 hari dan menjadi shutdown terlama sepanjang sejarah AS. Tapi pengesahan anggaran 45 hari ini justru memunculkan gejolak baru di Kongres. Sayap konservatif Partai Republik menyatakan ingin mencopot Ketua DPR Kevin McCarthy juga dari Partai Republik karena ia mau berkompromi dengan Partai Demokrat. In January, to get the speakership, Kevin had to agree to certain guardrails on spending. America's lawmakers take one up or down vote on the funding of the entire government. That is crazy. That is the reason we're 33 trillion in debt. We want to move to single subject spending bills. He made that commitment. He broke it. Kepada program Face the Nation di CBS, Kevin McCarthy mengaku tidak gentar. So be it. Bring it on. Let's get over with it and let's start governing. If he's upset because he tried to push us in a shutdown and I made sure government didn't shut down, then let's have that fight. Apapun yang terjadi secara internal di Partai Republik, analis menilai kompromi lintas partai tetap diperlukan. There is bipartisan compromise to support additional funding for Ukraine, to support our troops and ensure that our border security um, is well funded. And so I think that we're going to see, you know, action on those particular priorities in the coming weeks. Kebuntuan di Kongres belakangan bakal menjadi sorotan di berbagai negara menurut analis. I think longer term we do need to focus more on a structural reform to institutions and find ways of having more political parties in Congress that would help us reach more consensus in in the legislative body as opposed to just having a back and forth between these two very polarized parties. Selain memicu instabilitas politik, analis khawatir kebuntuan di Kongres juga memukul posisi ekonomi AS termasuk di antara lembaga pemeringkat kredit internasional. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.